Hey everybody, Logan here. Today we're unboxing another controller. So this one I picked up uh, a little bit ago, not too long ago, at Burlington. So it started last year in the holidays of 2022. So long ago, no, just about a year ago. I have to walk in there and see that, well, I didn't know, but they sell controllers. They have odd brands that I've never heard of. But you can find similar, not the same, but similar versions on Amazon, which is weird. Uh, but hey, it is what it is. And this year I happen to go uh, in again and find two new controllers. I already posted uh, another one. It was, a, it was a green one by a company called GameWave. Last year was Tech Rebellion. It honestly looks like they just took these controllers, reskinned them, maybe add some new features, some new colors, and then gave it a new name, new company. Not 100% sure. But this one, this one looks a little different. But kind of the same. I went, hmm, let's check it out. And this is the LED wireless controller multicolor RGB LED remote from GameWave, but it's a it's a nice little spacey color. Can you guys see that? It's like purpley, but there's supposedly lights that light up under here, but it's GW. GW! Not George W. GW. GameWave. So if you look at the back, it's supposed to light up underneath, which reminds me quite a bit of one that I tested last year that was from Tech Rebellion, but it was clear. And it was, is it is, it is, it, is uh, it had uh, input lag. You know, some of these controllers are not bad if you're getting it for a kid uh, who just needs another controller, wants to dock the switch and play it on the screen without using the Joy-Con. Maybe a secondary controller, tertiary, quarshi, whatever the fourth one is. Um, yeah, so you know what? They're not bad. They all range depending on your local Burlington. Around the $20 mark might be a little less, might be a little more, but it all depends on uh, on your local store. So I said, okay, we're going to pick this up. We're going to unbox it. We're going to test it out, see if it's any different. And um, hopefully it's hopefully it's better. Well, the last Game Wave one, the one I tested out, the green one that actually comes in multiple colors, just standard wireless one, was a pretty solid controller for that $20 mark. Hmm, maybe this one will fall in line with it. Let's find out. Hey, ha, okay. Here's that purple. And it's very glossy. Now it has a little button here. You see that? That's how it's supposed to light up. It'll be easier without the... Oh, that's not too shabby. It's going to be easier to see without the, the overhead light reflecting off the plastic. So let's take a look. Vibration function, turbo function, six axis sensor, wireless connection. Six to ten hours for a Nintendo Switch. People ask, hey, will it work on PC? No. Nintendo Switch, Lite, Switch, and Switch OLED. These are for the Switch. So, uh, there are controllers out there that do work on PC. And if you're looking for coverage on those, go to a channel that covers PC. I do not. It's a shame that I have to say that in like every one of my videos. I do not cover PC controllers. I do not cover PC games. And I do not cover PC functionality. I am a console uh, channel. Covers mainly Xbox, uh, Switch, and PlayStation. Do cover retro stuff from time to time when I get the ability to. But it's mainly, especially this time of year, a lot of Switch and Xbox controllers. Unfortunately, there aren't that many third-party PS5 controllers. Maybe we'll see more in the future. Okay, so we've got instructions. The shiny piece of thing. 
Okay, so this controller, it's a, it's a weird texture, but it's not bad. This controller reminds me of the previous one. Um, the Tech Wave, Tech Rebellion, Tech, Tech Wave, no, this is Game Wave, that's Tech Rebellion. Uh, type C, that's not bad, let's take that off. Oh, huh, not bad, okay. Decent length, decent length. Does it say how long? No. Let me, let me take a look, you guys can't see that. Uh, I would say four feet. It's about a four foot cable. Cable, cable, cable. No, this isn't a cable, this is a controller. It's purple, that's nice. So if you wanna do Okay, that's that's not bad. I like the sticks. Those are funny looking textures. But it feels fine. The triggers are not really triggery. They're just simple buttons. But that's how it is with most of the Switch controllers because they're not analog. So why make them that way? But it's a simple button press. That doesn't that doesn't feel bad. This honestly feels pretty good. Okay, so that's the light button. Doesn't do anything until we sync, I'm pretty sure. You got your plus, you got your minus, you got your turbo, you got your screenshot. All right. There's no textures. There's no grips. There's nothing like that. So it's just a smooth... Let's see if you can see any of the light from the back. Yeah, okay, you can see a bit of the light through the back. As you can see, it's just this LED wireless controller from GameWave. All right, let's see what the instructions say. That's a pretty cool looking controller. RGB light control. Press the RGB button to select light modes. Oh, okay. That's that's it. You simple, I guess. How to calibrate the controller, wireless pairing. We're going to connect it with the switch. Is the button on the top? No. So from the home menu, select the system settings, then select airplane mode, Bluetooth, select on. Okay, that's already it. Change grip, home, and Y. All right. So let's check out on my OLED here. My beautiful OLED. Let us turn it on first because that always helps. Here. Let us go to controllers. Change grip order. Let's zoom in a bit here. All right. So with that being said, it says press home and press Y. That is very, very simple. So. Okay. Light mode. That actually looks much cooler on camera than it does in person. That glow looks really sick on camera. The red, of course the red. It Again, it looks better on camera. I think that purple looks really nice. Now you can see it fluctuate here on camera, but it doesn't do that in person. I actually think it's a white light underneath, which causes the purple to pop, which I kind of like. Yellow, that doesn't look good at all. That, I think, is a pink. Yeah. Again, it looks pink here, but here it looks very, very pale, pale, pale pink. 
not 100% sure what the light looks like underneath. But here in camera, it's a, it's a light pink. See, there's pink. That's pinkity pink. You got your orange. Here it's orange. The camera looks a little more reddish. And then you have the pulsing. Flashy McFlash Flash. Slow Flashy McFlash Flash. Slow Pulse. Faster. And then we have back to the... And see, here it looks teal, but this is green. This is, this is green green. Okay, so let's just leave it on that blue because it looks really nifty on camera. So let's try this. That's it. That's it for... We are going to try Contra. Just because I had it uh, set up. I was playing it the other day. I'm terrible at Contra, just so you guys know that. What? Oh, it's the arcade. My brain just farted there. Should we turn this up a bit? Well, how did that not shoot him? I'm used to the NES version. This feels so weird. I told you I'm terrible at this game. The controller feels fine. For digital, it feels fine. Stick feels fine. All right, so what we're going to do... Uh, I don't know what I have installed on this one. Is Crisis installed? I always try Crisis. No, it's not installed. So we're going to try out Crisis. Give us a moment and we'll be like that. Alrighty, so we got Crisis loaded up here. Let's give a couple of testing buttons here. Okay. Since it's really dark, let's turn that on. Now, first we're going to test it. Okay, without gyroscope. Press B to jump. Everything seems pretty snappy. I will say these Game Wave controllers feel a lot better than the previous iteration of the Tech Rebellion. I had a lot of issue before with minor uh, input lag. And it was minor enough for someone who actually plays games like these to notice. So, all right, let's... All righty. Not bad. Now, let's try the gyroscope options. I always turn it off first because I like to keep it calibrated correctly. And you can still move it with the stick. It's good. It's good. 
This is a good controller. It's got rumble, if you guys are wondering. It's got rumble. Sticks are rather responsive. Simple light controls, which, they're okay. D-pad's nice. The buttons feel good. This is a good controller for 20 bucks. This is a solid light-up controller, much better than the previous iteration. I would recommend, yes. So if you guys are at Burlington or any of the other stores where you might see this brand or you might see one similar, if you get the Game Wave, LED wireless controller, multicolor RGB, not RBG, red bandana gave me hat, okay, RGB LED remote, I would say yes. Pick this one up. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I remember seeing these in multiple color variants. You could say this is the galaxy looking one, the space one. They had a clear one. There was another one. I can't quite remember what the variant was. It had another pattern on it. But this one I liked because seeing the, the, the galaxy, that space theme, I thought was pretty cool. And overall, this is a good controller. I would recommend. Highly recommend. Plays great with 2D games, even though I'm horrible at Contra. Controlled very well. Plays great with Crisis. I always say, if it works with Crisis, it's a good controller. Crisis does pretty much everything. Uh, and remember, these don't have NFC, so you can't use Amiibo. But it does have Rumble. It has uh, pretty much all your standard features. And it's, 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 a, solid, it's a solid banger of a controller. Uh, 20 bucks, definitely worth it. So, um, yeah, if you need one, I would say yes. Good job, guys. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below, and I'll answer them to the best of my uh, ability. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. Like we always say, be legendary. Subscribe. Thanks again.